Hey everybody, it's Chris Kirkpatrick with Life 180, and I'm here in the Better Well Studios. Like the new background color, it's kind of cool. Matches the Life 180 color, so. I Tell like us it. if you don't like it, we have multiple colors. <laughs> <laughs> Show off. <laughs> yeah, so I'm here with Caleb in the Better Well Studios and uh, up in here in Denver and about to head back to Phoenix, but we just were uh, talking, wanted to do another video here, um, talking about the things that entrepreneurs, let, let's talk about, I just did a video on infinite banking uh, yesterday. Okay. Um, uh, infinite banking for entrepreneurs. And I, and I was talking about uh, elements of policies that, that, you know, just the angles that entrepreneurs need to think about, right? right? Like, and stop thinking about the policy design, the 90, 10, the 70, 30, the 60, 40, totally. the, this, the, that, like, it's not product because like, you can look at a million illustrations online. It's not about like the product design. It's like, it's a matter of like, what are your objectives? Right. And, and what are your problems and, and how can, how can you, get a solution to those problems, right? Like right. The, the reality is the one thing I can promise you, I don't know if IBC is right for you as totally. an entrepreneur or an investor or whatever, it, it, it may or may not be. The one thing I'm pretty certain for most entrepreneurs is that putting your money in the market is not the answer. Well, it, like, it just goes back to, it goes back to the ROR. We, yeah. We've been talking a little bit about yeah. this, but ROR for us stands for return on result. Mm -hmm. Get super clear on what you want. Yeah. And then if, if option A can help you more effectively accomplish that, yeah. amazing if it can't let's not get so romantic about a uh, one strategy sure no i love it i mean so so if you are and you are an entrepreneur right. but like i mean and you run can i can i vent amazing. for a second no yeah <laughs> please we get a ton of people that call our company a lot of people are coming through because they're watching these videos and i love every single one of you okay but uh -oh. here's what i'm gonna say i feel a truth bomb coming <laughs> is People come in and they say, I want this type of plan. I want this type of plan. I want this type of plan. And by the way, we we as a company can have you sign a disclosure and say, okay, don't sue us. We'll make you whatever plan you want. You want 90, 10? Sure. Awesome. You want 20, 80? Awesome. Like regardless of what, like what kind of design you want as it relates to overfunding whole life, like they're, yeah. everyone's focused on the widget. Yeah, exactly. And, and so one of the things that we want to do is we want to take a step back and say, okay, awesome, Chris, you, you, you want this widget. We can give you this widget, but why do you want that widget? Right. What do you actually want to accomplish? Have you looked at your taxes? Have you looked at where your money is going? Have you analyzed in, um, your assets, your investments? Yep. Have you, have, are you being efficient as it relates to your retirement strategy? So we have someone so, that comes in and says, I want X. Okay, why? And so that's one of the things that I get fired up about because this is fun for me because as entrepreneurs, totally. I can actually play devil's advocate and say, I don't think you should overfund life insurance. Sure. Why? Because you would much better, you'd be much better off doing it this way. Mm -hmm. And people are like, oh, I thought you guys were the overfunded life insurance people. Well, we, we can do anything. I wrote a book on the and asset. I'm a huge fan of it. I, yeah. I fund six figures worth of, into life insurance. I'm a big fan of it. And I don't think it's the it, a one size fits all. And I think a lot of people go in and thinking it's like the silver bullet and yep. they, they're transferring their ability to want to create um, to a policy into a, like a third party investment. And we just see it so a lot true. so that there's my event. No, I love it. And, and, you know, it's, it's so interesting and similar to what I do on a weekly daily basis when I'm working with people on business development, right? Like, so right. somebody comes to me and, and they say, well, I'm not getting enough leads online or, That's right. you know, my website isn't converting or I'm not like, you know, there's all sorts of phrases, but they come to me thinking like, yes, I know what I need. And it's like, you think you know what you need. Exactly. You really don't. Like, you're great at what you do for your business. You're not great at this, right? Like, so, and, and what you think you need, honestly, sometimes if you if you were to get that in the online market, in the business development space, in the online sales system space, like, if you were to get what you thought you needed, it'd just make things worse, right? Yep. And that's a lot, it's very similar to an IBC policy. So, yep. like, think about that from the terms of your business and how you run your business and all the things that you like need right. to do to develop your business, your finances are no different. In fact, your finances, if you're an entrepreneur and you're doing anything yep. halfway significant, your finances are part of the systematic decision-making process right. and your ability to grow your business. Right. So why spend so much time up here with this guy? Because it's yep. so very important for everybody. And like, I just wish I had like the ability no, no. to scream this from the- Well, and, and I love this man. Like I, and we do the same thing. Yeah. Like I'm like, Chris, I have a leads problem. And you're like, yeah. no, you don't. 
<laughs> you have a conversion problem yeah. or you have an email problem yeah. or you have a follow-up problem. You have a system problem. problem. You have a system problem. Yeah. And so that's 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 the whole only point yeah. is like is like if if you're working with someone make sure totally. that they are looking at the whole entire thing and make sure that they're asking you really good questions because yeah. if there's one thing that I I'm really pumped about and one thing I'm really proud about on our team is we spend a ton of time asking questions and when we have scenarios that go like okay how did we get to this situation it was like it was our fault because we didn't ask the right questions totally yeah no there's no yeah. doubt well so so what would you say then is there anything else i mean like i know this is a bit of a ranting short well, kind of video for us i'll, I'll like, just go like, through our, i'll go yeah. through our process quick okay. number cool. one is clarity and sure. if you don't have clarity on who you are where you want to go no no strategy will get you to where you want to go because you don't even have clarity on that. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we want to do is we want to get, get clarity on that, and then that is the metric that matters. So let me explain. Please. So if if you're like, this is what I want out of life. I, I want to spend more time with my family. I want to um like be able to give a million dollars to charity. I want to do like X, Y, or Z. Like what would you do if money was an issue? Yep. That becomes the metric for a company and we and we everything whether it's a successful or failure is based on that not a metric that wall street tells us so that's number right. one yes number two is now we're focused on optimization optimization i looked at your shirt because i don't have, the, no, I don't okay. have my shirt on today. Um, but optimization is amazing it's taking what you're currently doing it's taking your current situation your current opportunity and making it better yeah and and we make it better by looking at your cash flow by looking at where your money's going by look at where you're investing and and just say how can we how can we just like increase increase what you're doing mm. the third thing that we do is then after that that's all done then we're then we're creating a strategy on how to be consistent yep. like how do we how do we be consistent in areas that can make you win and consistency is very much of a long term and short term yeah we need to be consistent long term but we also as entrepreneurs need to be consistent in giving us wins early on and then finally use your greatest financial need is using money your greatest ability to show up powerfully is using your number one asset, which is not money, not life insurance. It's you. About yourself. And so that that's the process. So that I mean, it's amazing. Like we have someone coming into our world that's nearing retirement. The whole strategy could change. Yeah, totally. Because you're in optimization mode. You're like, oh, we need to be consistent and use your assets in this this way because mm -hmm. that's what you want. Versus someone who's maybe an entrepreneur that we're like, maybe yeah. the strategy that you came in wanting to do you shouldn't do because you want this result. So I just thought, okay, is there anything else? Cause I just, no, I mean, there's always else something I, else. I want to do it. I want to do another video <laughs> that I just thought of and I Amazing. just don't want to lope it into this one. So, Amazing. Um, yeah, I, I think the, I think the, the, the last thing I want to say is our whole mission is unlock intentional living. That's yeah. why you and I like, that's yeah. both of our yeah, missions totally. in life. Yep. And so what does intentional living look like? If you have that metric, be obsessive on who you're spending time with, Who's helping you with your money? Who's helping you with your health? Who's helping you with your marketing? Mm -hmm. Make sure that they're helping you get closer to intentional living because I'm calling myself out here. So so many times we're trying to do something better. And as a result, we're getting farther away from who we are and where we want to go. That's that's like super Amen. deep. Amen. But, but it, there's no, like, let's not diversify our yeah. money as it relates to that point. Amen. I love it. So guys, I hope that helps. <laughs> I hope it makes sense. I hope it inspires you. It inspired me. Um, <laughs> So yeah, that's it. So yeah, I just got an idea. I got to get to another video. I'm sorry. If, if you love this, if you found value, please click the subscribe button, hit that bell. That way you get notified for the next video that I'm thinking about right now. And until then, have a blessed inspirational day. We'll see you there.